Yes. Hello there. Can I ask if you're interested in the question of women's rights? Oh, uh, I don't know. I need to ask my man. Hey, man! <laughs> Am I interested in women's rights? What? No! Hey, who wants you to know? What do you want? I I'm here on behalf of Gavin Clark, your Labour candidate. Can we count your vote in the by-election? My vote? I mean, for goodness sake, what do you want with that useless article? No, no, don't be so cynical, Mr Nesbitt. There's a lot we can do for Govan, you know. Oh, well, no, what you can do for Govan? Can you kill rats? Fix windies? Well, no, but... No, exactly. You're no use to me. Bugger off. Where you go? Wait, let's see this. Hey, what? Cheerio. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, look at that. A rat in a hat. Sitting on a mat. Pretty clever, isn't it? What are you in that? <laughs> no, it bloody well is not, with it? That's not how I brought you up, was it? To rip the piss out of dumb animals. What's that, that? Listen, you hear to me, boy. Listen, you hear to me. All of us is rats. But none of us is only a rat. And don't take my word for it. You read your good book, boy. Ask God. Hey, God. Shut it, you. Because I will tell you this. I will tell you this. She the God fella. She the God fella. He got a hold of Adam Nesbitt at the off, and he said unto him, She them, she them with the, with the fur coats and the stupid faces. Them is my animals. So let them go forth and never work and get plenty of nookie, you see? And that'll make up for them having they having. There you are. Ah, oh, see. Thanks, Dad. That explains a lot. Hey, cheers, Dad. That really changed my life. Ah, uh, good. Now, Mimi! What is it? Yeah, where's my dinner hen? Is it in the micro? In the micro? You'll be bloody lucky. You are half an hour late, boy. Your dinner is in the rat. In the rat? Yeah, permanently spied! <laughs> Behold, the Lord God Nesbitt is a jealous God. <laughs> These prints of the old Govan are awfully nice, aren't they, Lorna? Yes, the barefoot bairns and the hunger marchers. You know they're going an absolute bomb since all the heightened media interest. Oh, the poor were so picturesque in those days, weren't they? Yes, not like nowadays. Where are the quaint old characters of yesteryear, eh, Lorna? Gone a warty by the war, Morag. Gone a warty by the war. Name of God. Yes, can I help you? No, you cannot, doll. I want the top man. Where's we Clatty? Uh, Clatty? Oh, you mean Mr. McCutcheon, who used to own this business. I'm afraid he's gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone? I mean left. Vamoosed, sold out and up sticks. But we Clatty was here for over 30 years. And it showed, believe me. Oh, the cleaning up I had to do, more. Of... Oh, I know. There's no room for mockiness in modern business, Lorna. Oh, my God, you've changed your tune, eh? One minute it's, where are they now? The quaint old characters of yesteryear. The next minute it's, get them out to buggery, the Clatty animal. Well, now that you've got that off your chest, perhaps you would care to tell me just exactly what it is you're in for. Certainly I'll tell you what it is I'm in for. I want some rat poison. What's the matter, huh? Look, just get out of here now before I call the police. Don't worry about it, darling. It's deep, look. Why is here not so you ladies, can I? I mean, this is a rat. This is a quaint old govern, you know. I mean, clag a wee bit of hessian and uh, whap it into a frame. Hang the frame next to your copper warming pan in your patio, eh? Look, just get out. Now! I am gone, I'm gone. But I will tell you this. I will tell you this. There was no rats in this scheme. No, you trendies moved in. Oh, that's a terrible thing to say. No wonder the middle classes are being forced to live in ghettos. I ghetto, you ghetto back to buggery. Good. <laughs> God alone knows what kind of bugs you people are bringing in here. Oh. Talk about a sign of a town. Stupid. A river, Clyde. Farm estate. Eh, for God's sake. Make you laugh, wouldn't it? You know what we used to call this place when we were boys? Rats Alec. 
Right, Sally, I'm saying, right, Sally. Hey, you're too young to remember that, of course. But your father, he would mind. I'll tell you something else as well. See, in them days, there was decent rats down here. No, I mean, they kept their cell in their cell. No, like nowadays, that's modern society for you, know. You only get the rats you deserve. Yeah. But I'll tell you, you know who I blame? You know who I blame? These buggers here. All these buggers in here. All these wee active citizens. Yeah. I mean, these are the type that can get four big helpings out of Marks and Spencer's ocean pie. <laughs> Look at that one there. Look. Kicking out. Kicking out all hypertense. Case of breaking the fourth series. Or kicking himself. Case of start an inflow train. Uh, yeah. I think I'll make you I'm viewing this drum, you know. Just give them all a wee heart attack. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Lovely. Yeah. This'll do me very nice. Plenty of room for me and my tribe of wings and my bull terriers. Hey, ah, that's right. Have a good look at me, doll. Have a good look at me. Look at me. It's me. I will neither walk nor want. And here am I, buying a dirty big hoose. Hey, uh, free market. Free market. You get a free market. You get a free market. Look, would you mind keeping the noise down? What? Some of us have to work, you know. Some of us have to fight by-elections. Some of us have to carry the flaming torch of pragmatic socialism through piss-stinking low-life dunnies and with only a measly half-hour for their lunch. Yeah, I am, man. I don't know you. I very much doubt it. Ah, that day. You're wee mad mental Gabby Clark. You and I used to go to school together. Nesbitt? Ah. I thought I recognised that head wound. You know, you should have run competitions. Well, I was certainly different in those days. Oh, Shelley, you were an idealist, eh? Thank God I had that educated out my system. Well, it's been awful nice seeing you again. Give a regard to the boys, you know, um... Jimsy! Jimsy Cotter! Aye, and we, uh... Um... We end up in the end up in the end. That's it! Last time I saw those guys, they were propping up the bar at the two ways. Twenty-five years ago. Wonder where they are now, eh? Well, uh, uh, if you want to find out, look around with me now. I'm still waiting you to get around and... Go <laughs> there. I hardly think so. There are your people, Gavin. It'll be a chance to find out their wants and needs. Oh, all right. Just wait there. I'll go and turn off the Mozart. Oh, don't bother. I'll just bring it with you. You can eat it in the road. Go on. Hey, boys! Look! You'll never get through this. Is. Look! We got me, Clark! Hi, guys. <laughs> About time, T. Uh, two whiskey and a lager. <laughs> It's done wonders for me. I feel as if I've come home. It's so good to be with one's people again. Oh, no problem, Gavin. We know what you mean, don't we, boys? Oh, oh, I, wonder, oh, I, oh, I, I know, I know. You're joshing me now because I've lost my accent. But believe me, deep down inside, I'm still the same person. Oh, yeah, sure. Of course you are. We believe that, Gavin, huh? <laughs> uh, it's uh, your shirt again, by the way. Of course. Hey, Dougie. How come the swally pronto, big man? Oh, eh? oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, that's the uh, same again, by the way. Hello, you here, Gavin. That old street jav just comes flooding right back to you, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, don't you start, Doug. I'm getting enough leg pulling from these characters. But seriously, lads, it's great to know that you've all survived. Especially with the terrible upheaval that's been going on in Govan this past decade. <laughs> I suppose the recession has been pretty grim for you lads, eh? Hellish, hellish. Here, have another smoked salmon sandwich. Don't mind if I do. There you go, boys. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. At least there's one bloke going to be here that's no complaining because she's just that work shut down. You see Diggy here? He has never 
had it so good night, Douglas. It's an ill wind, dead eh, Dougie. Well, you should know. It's blown your ass far enough up the social ladder. Touche, Douglas. <laughs> well, let's not dwell on the unpleasant aspects of life. We're here for a reunion, for heaven's sake. Let's enjoy ourselves. Aye, 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 aye. So listen, are we going to do some serious smiling or what? I'm forgetting blue <laughs> Well, there's nothing I'd like to do more, lads, but if you'll excuse me a second, uh, I think I'll just go and phone the wife. <laughs> huh? Well, tell the bitch no to wake up. Keep a bug on that, please. Hello, Gavi, eh? He has they changed a bit. Oh, aye, aye, deep down he's still one of the boys. <laughs> aye, and they've asked me to be the new Conan after Schwarzenegger. <laughs> 